we can use this. Old Santa right there. It's oh. not just me. I can't I can tell there's something here. The energy in here is crazy, bro. Like it feels like there's something here. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! You saw a happy meal! You saw a chicken nugget! You you, you don't have no chicken nugget happy meal! But uh, where Alicia? Right we turn right right here? Yes. Shit. Guys, we're gonna get an accident. I haven't even got to say hello to anybody Let yet. Oh, Alicia's gonna kill me. One day back in the saddle. Here we go. <laughs> I guess I'm just a, a damn crash and dummy. And now turn, what? Turn, 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 right. Turn what? Right, right or left? Right. Get your shit together, woman, or else I'm hiring somebody else. All right, now what? Keep going. Straight. Yes. Jeez, Louise. Guys. Been off my game. You have been. Uh, welcome back to another video. Today we're hot on the Randa. Are we hot? I don't know. We might be cold as shit. Uh, today we're starting off using Randa Nautica. Now um, what? This way. Turn right. And okay, yeah. it looks like there's a road there, but there's, there's a, a there's a ditch. There's a. There is oh. a ditch, bitch. Oh my god. All right, here I'll, I'll park right here. Wait, how are you gonna get over there? I'm gonna fucking walk and hop it, I guess. Uh, how, what was it like? Uh, 225 feet. Okay. Guys, we're starting out using Randa Nautica today. It looks like we got freaking blood on the window. What the hell? How does that happen? We're with Jody Dean. Oh yeah, we, we were just come we are just coming off a of set filming my second horror film, Mallet, The Nightmare Continues. Uh, but we're starting out using Randa Nautica, then we'll bounce over to my app, Scaranoi app. Oh wow, if this ain't skeptical. Disturbing is the intention. Something disturbing. Uh, that could be very easy to find in this world. Could be that dark, dark cloud over there that's brewing. It's brewing hard. Or it could be me. I'm probably gonna go to step over this and a water moccasin's gonna bite my balls off. Hmm, probably not. It does, eh, it's not that bad, right? Oh, oh, oh my God, here we go, whoa! Oh my God, look at Jody go! All right, uh, was it like 225 feet? All right, we'll look along the way. How about that? Well, somebody's been over here drinking. Look at that. What does that say? Hill and Brooks. Oh, all right, it's not alcohol, but somebody just decided to hawk it over there. Guys, I missed you so much. I know it's only been a few days. Uh, we dropped another kind of video on the channel. I think we're gonna do that here and there So we're gonna keep the random nautica going, but we're also going to feed you some other kind of content Make sure your notifications are on or else you can miss it all <sighs> Disturbing I have found it so many so many times It disturbs me to even use the intention disturbing but hey You got to do what you got to do when you're looking for that scary scary Look here in these little hollers. Of course, I, I do want to be careful, and I'll tell you for why. Because, you know, we were just reviewing this story that we're going to be covering. And this woman was eaten by an alligator. Now, I think what happened was, is she was a homeless woman, and she was sleeping somewhere that she probably shouldn't have been sleeping and while she was sleeping, this alligator just attacked her and it ate her and there was just nothing she could do. It was like a 13 foot gator. If you know anything about gators, that's a big fucking gator. Uh, it's not like I can say, hey, you wanna see 13 feet? Here, let me pull it out. Uh, 13 feet's fucking big, guys. So uh, she got ate by a gator. So when I see shit like this, I'm like, man, I really wanna be cautious. There could be a gator just sitting here waiting for opportunity and you get locked in his mouth, there ain't a lot you can do. Hmm. Disturbing. That could be disturbing. What's disturbing? It's Jody's last day on Earth. Yay! That's what that's the haters talking right there. Yay! No more Mr. H2D! Get him out of here! Send him home! Pack those balls up! Kick him to the moon! Hey! That's my that's my elderly man voice. Hey! Hey! Get him out of here! No one likes him anyway. Son of a bitch. Fucker. What's this? Oh, it's a little rag action, huh? Just a nice little tree ornament. Hey, let's throw this rag on the tree and decorate. Yay! Um, what do we got here? Nothing. That's what we got. 
All right, now I really am being cautious. I'm looking side to side, looking for a gator. You just never know. I just covered that story. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm prepping to cover it. And uh, I'll be damned, you know, it's, it's got my nerves a little on edge just being here right at the moment. I'm not Crocodile Dundee. I'm just a man with a nap and a sword. That's it. Is this an old bike rack? Who still uses bike racks, bro? <laughs> that was something that was a big thing when I was in school. People would use bike racks. And I remember too, there would, there would always be drama at the bike rack. Like, you'd get to school in the morning with your bike, and you'd be locking it up, and somebody would be standing there just be like, hey boy, what you doing with that bike? Uh, I'm, I'm locking it up. Oh yeah, why you locking it up? You afraid somebody's gonna steal it? D don't lock it up, I ain't gonna steal it. No, I, I think I'll lock it up. Why, you scared? Yeah, I'm scared somebody's gonna steal my bike. It's just fucking bullshit, bro. Fucking bullshit. You guys remember how it was in school. It's just so fucking weird. I don't get it. So yeah, that was bike rack drama days. Back then, back when, age 10. That's when the stealing, swearing, tattoos and earrings Drug dealing, premarital sex, suicide, attempted murder, he didn't die. Did I just find a vampire steak? <sighs> no, it's not. It's not a vampire steak. Speaking of steak, though, that sounds good. Somebody give me a steak burrito over here, stat. What's this? Ooh. I say, ooh, like I, I just hit the fucking lottery. It's just a black garbage bag. <laughs> I love these videos, man. It allows me to just, you know, be goofy Jody. And, and in all honesty, this is how I am, like, 90% of the time. <laughs> Whether the camera's on or not. Hmm. I will say this. There's certain things where I, 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 I turn the volume down a little bit, you know? Like, when I'm making my, uh, my feature films, my horror films, I'm just very... Per professional and and, and 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 direct and serious about the process uh but as soon as we we yell cut it's all gloves off baby jody's going deep inside deep inside his craziness oh look at this old sign here that's disturbing maybe not really it's old old wood I don't know why I had to touch it. I just had to touch it. Sometimes you gotta touch things, you know? What is that? Is that a firework? It is. That could be disturbing. A little rocket pocket. A little pocket rocket right there, huh? Interesting. What do we got over here? Just trash, that's it. I see a little, I see a little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, they're racing. I bet you can't beat me to that red light. Oh, I bet you I can. I bet you you can. Man, people are just, I don't, I don't know what's going on with the world, bro. Let's fucking race, see who can get to the red light first. Ha uh ha, -huh. I'll beat you to the red light. It just seems like there'd be more important things to worry about than, than uh, I don't know, racing. What's this mean? 15. Hmm. 15. It was a good age. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, God, 15 years old. What was I doing, man? I was freestyling on the block with my homies. With my homies. We didn't talk like that, though. <laughs> we didn't talk like that. Uh, I was freestyling in the neighborhood with all the guys. I knew I wanted to do rap music. Um, I was watching horror films a lot. Uh, partying, drinking, doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. Um, yeah, and I'll stop right there because it, it, goes, it goes really deep. <gasps> Where is it? 
I see men. Wait, what the fuck is that? What is that? Dude, what the fuck? <gasps> oh, it's a doll. Whoa, the hell? The hell? I'm not trying to look up under her dress, but I'm what? Whoa, they they used a piece of like sticker loggery. Okay, they used a piece of stick and then a smaller piece of stick and they made her head out of stick. What the fuck? Why is that in there? <gasps> Whoa. What the fuck? Why? No, I'm all right. Here, let's stop being in a... Why did she have her cane jabbed up into her hoo-ha? What the fuck? Why was she cane jabbing herself in the hoo-ha? What's that supposed to be? A little lamb? A little sheep? Ew. Looks like fucking urine. Ew, I don't know about disturbing. Well, you know what? That is kind of disturbing. Hold on a damn second. This piece right here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I shouldn't have pulled it out. Oh, my God. That sounded terrible. Well, technically, she put it in. And, oh, my God. I don't know. All right. Come on. Okay. So, this thing was stuck in her dress right here. Now, tell me that that doesn't look like she's having a good old jam session. And I'm not saying that she's playing the Fender. Um, she even looks like there's piss on her fucking head. I mean, it could just be old, 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 but... Is that blood on her cheek? That's just weird. Out of all the places that this thing could be sticking... It's sticking in the crotchial region. I'm not trying to be inappropriate. I'm just be I'm a realist, man. There's some real fucking shit there. What the hell? And her hands look like they're made from shoelaces. I'll be damned. Creative as shit. Here, let's pull that out of there, man. Oh my god, I can't believe you. I can't believe you, whore. Little hooker. That actually looks like a hook too, doesn't it? She's a hooker. Alright. Turn it upside down, it's a J. <laughs> Give me a J. All right. Here, let's go show Alicia this shit. I'll try to explain to her the, the disturbingness of it before I so rudely pulled it out. I mean, fucked it up. We messed, I don't know. Get what I'm saying? <sighs> white cars, white cars. All I see is white cars. Everywhere I fucking go, they're white vehicles. I know you're like, oh, well, white vehicles are popular. I get it. I do. I get it. Hey, you want to see something cool? Yeah, Not sure. really? All right, check this out. Bam. Cut a sheep or a pig. What is that? I, I, I really don't know. Here's what was disturbing. This metal thing mm -hmm. was sticking through her dress almost as if it was going up her you-know-what, her hoo -ha And, yeah, and I found it by a bush. Her hoo-ha. Yeah, yeah, I found her hoo-ha near a bush. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it makes so, a lot of sense. I think that's um, little red riding hood. No, no, it's not. She don't have a red top on. Miss Bo Peep, little Miss Bo. Is that what the fuck is? is that? Miss Bo Peep? Something like that. Little Miss Bo Peep. I don't know. Miss Bo Peep has a hoe sheep. Look it up. Can you imagine if sheep were hoes? <gasps> oh my god, sheep are in the org. Wouldn't that be crazy? Ho sheep. Dude, that'd be a good scary oh, movie. Sheep? The the whore sheep. All right, just hear me out, guys. Hear oh me out, God. okay? Hear me out real quick. Do Coming not. this summer, a bunch of slutty sheep get loose. I think there's something there. I don't Maybe know. Maybe I'm wrong. Rhyme. Okay. It's a nursery rhyme thing. What? Uh the the peep thing you said? Yeah. Well, here's what I thought was unique is like this little base of it's made from a piece of a a log. It's like a little log. Is that real wood? Yeah, it's real. And then she's got a stick it's inside a of her. It's a cane. Oh, um, her hands are made from like shoelace, it looks like. 
and it's all just a little handmade thing what a cool little thing just to find somewhere and then she's got this little hook that's why i call her a little hooker what is that bo peep she doesn't look nothing like them well, that's the new generated shit this is oh the old shit. wait so you're saying that this is a big thing Maybe. i didn't know nothing about it does that look like something i'm into oh yeah i'm gonna go home and watch miss bo peep no i want to watch some wrong fucking rhyme, turn like humpty dumpty and miss bo peep and humpty dumpty she knows all about the humpty Jack dumpty and jill went up the hill she was stabbing herself in the crotch like she was the exorcist <sighs> all right here i tell you what i like this I, you like it yes it's cute like, i know why I, you like it so all right, listen, here, just keep it. it. We're going to send that to a supporter. We're, we're going to surprise somebody. I surprised somebody from the last video. They got a little clown thing. So I Ew, hope they're happy. It looks like there's piss on it, Jody. That's, I said the same thing, and I'm we're both touching, touching it. it. I know. Time for sanitizer. All right, I'm going to pull out nice and slow here. Hold on. Careful, please. Hold on. i got to make sure pull okay. out correctly. All right, guys, we are heading to the next pen point right now and we are on fire okay we're not actually on fire but i just mean we're hot on this thing however we switched from randonautica to my app scarenoy app if you haven't downloaded it what are you doing guys it's going to get you out of your house out of your mind and in to the world I, tapping on the window alicia does that okay, mean turn so, right uh, yep. right here sure, right here sure, Shit. Sure, okay sure, guys her navigating is is getting worse okay i hate to be mean right i'm here. not a mean guy right here okay go this way all right just so i want you guys to know i wanted to show her hand and how she navigates that way stop. <laughs> okay stop right here yeah so this is the pinpoint all right got gotcha. you all right uh uh signs from the beyond signs from the beyond and wait is that a church yeah it says something about worship so it's, it's a church yay all right um well, at least you'll be able to see me, I suppose. Yes, if I get out of sight, then just wait longer. Out of sight, out of mind. Wow, Alicia. Good job. <laughs> Whoa, open well. Holy shit. Open well immediately and now i'm stepping in this clay shit again oh my god big open well signs from the beyond okay well hey you fall down there you're gonna definitely be beyond oh, you're bad. and and ain't nobody gonna know can you imagine being stuck in there and you scream who the hell is is, is gonna find you nobody there's like some weird pipes going down in there. It's a holler. Boxes, garbage, and shit. All right. Let's see what Scaranoia app would bring us today. This little sketchy nugget over here. Hmm. Signs from the beyond. Oh, I see tires down there. It looks like somebody's been back here doing something. Always makes me wonder when I see areas like that and I see remnants of things. It's like, what the hell are people doing? What are they doing? Tires mean we're gonna find something. I don't know why it's just become a sign when you see tires You know that you are going to find something. It's the weirdest shit ever Oh great, I hear a dog barking I've made something mad and I haven't even done nothing wrong There's a bucket down in there Oh, it smells like fucking death over here. What the hell? No, I'm not even kidding, guys. It smells like a rotting corpse, right? It, the further I go this way. Oh, great. Today's the day. Watch, I find a dead body. I hope not. 
I hope not. More tire ridge. I'm tired of finding tires. I'm tired of finding tires. I'm tired of all these liars. I'm about to pull out some pliers and stab a bitch like Michael Myers. She goes, oh my God, Jody, you're a squire. I'm like, damn girl. I'm like Snoop Dogg, I can't get no higher. She says, hey, I got your flyer. I'll see you later, daddy. Daddy, daddy, everybody hashtag daddy. Daddy. And whenever you hashtag it, make sure you say it like that, please. It makes daddy feel better. What's back here? This ground is softer than mashed potatoes. Hmm. See a bunch of pots over there. A bunch of pots for plants, but not pot plants. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. A bunch of pipes on the ground. Bunch of shit back here. Oh, spider web. I see the metal stuff there. Signs from the beyond. Signs from the beyond. Just ask my Uncle John. He likes his gray poupon. Dude, it does smell like death over here. It's weird. I don't know, somebody's house might be back here. This might not be a smart idea. They see me on their property and they think I'm I'm plotting on them. They think I'm creeping. No, sir, I'm not creeping. No, 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 not me. Not Jody Dean. Oh, fuck. Bro, I really don't want to find a dead body, but, uh... There's something going on back here. Oh, there's some kind of road that used to go through here. Bro, I feel like I'm gonna walk upon a corpse here in a second, guys. I'm not even playing, like, it's getting stronger. If I keep going that way, I'm gonna either run into somebody's house, um, and they've just cut off this road access or something. There's woods right here. I can see somebody's house through there. There's a tub. Hopefully it don't have body parts in it. Oh, fuck. See, that's the thing about this, is you do gotta be careful, because sometimes this app sends you to places and you don't know what you're walking into. I mean, this could be very, very dangerous, you know? It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. See, the one thing that like, the one thing that bothers me is I did, I worked in the, you guys have heard me say this before, it's true. I worked in the funeral business for a good while and I've been around a ton of dead bodies. I've cremated a lot of people. I've assisted cremating a lot of people. I've pulled a lot of bodies out of the refrigerator and put into the refrigerator, checking identities, double checking identities, making sure that who we have in there is who the death certificate belongs to. And when you're around death so much, dead body so much, um, Man, you just pick up things that you'll never forget. And one of them is that dying, dying, dead smell. And, and I'm not trying to gross anybody out here, but 
it starts up there and as you get down here it gets stronger and stronger as you go back that way if there is a dead body back there um, somebody needs to know but uh, do I want to be the one to discover it and one part of me says I would like to be that guy to bring somebody closure if somebody's missing the other part of me is just scared of shit like no I, I just rather I'd rather somebody else find it or maybe I'll just put in a, an anonymous call and hopefully somebody will come out here and check it out but I'm pretty sure if I keep going back there I'm gonna find something dead I just know that What is that? There's something right there. What the heck is that? Pennies from heaven. Signs from beyond maybe? I don't know. Well no, this is a church so somebody probably Maybe this was in the church, because the church, heaven, I don't know. It's like, a, it's like a little coin bank, ain't that something? Interesting. Yeah, you put the penny in there and it goes down in here and, and I guess maybe when you fill it up this comes out? I don't know, I'll probably play with it and break it. Oh yeah. Okay, so whenever you fill it up, this comes down. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter, does it? I'm going to leave it here for another rando nodder to find. Uh, signs from beyond. Pennies from heaven. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Tell me what you guys think. Sometimes I think I find stuff that, that maybe I think more about than I probably should. And sometimes there's things I find that I probably should think more about. So let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, signs from beyond. It could be <laughs> there is a dead body beyond somewhere out here. And the sign is that I smell the damn thing. I wish I could just see it from the woods. Yeah, that breeze is picking up. I mean, it's here, bro. There's something here. I swear, guys. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> Shit, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. What am I doing? Don't do it, Jody. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's strong, bro. It is strong. <clears throat> this goes deep down here. It's going like this, guys. And I know, I don't think you can tell, but it's going like that. Definitely don't want to step into another open well down here. See, I'm looking along that ridge right there to see if I can see somebody or something. Hmm. Sucks. Sucks. Uh, you just wish everything was nice and open that you could just access it. You know? Like Tyler's mom. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a strikeout. Maybe it's not. Maybe that little penny thing I just found has something to do with signs from beyond. I, uh, friend of mine, Jonathan Henry, he, uh, he got hit by a girl that was, was texting and driving and decapitated him. And I paid for his entire funeral. When I showed up there, uh, he was like 21 years old. And this was, you know, like 15 years ago now. When I showed up there, I was the only white person at his funeral. And the only person that told me thank you was his mother. Everybody else acted kind of like I shouldn't be there. But the thing that blew my mind was the preacher, when I it was time to pay him and I was paying him, he, uh, he said, the more that I give him, the more that I would receive. 
And I believe his words were like something that it was a sign from beyond to, to, to give. He was one of those hustler preachers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just kind of was blown away by how people were more worried about money and the fact that I was a white dude paying for my friend's funeral than the fact that they should be there celebrating, you know, the amazingness that John brought to the world. He was a very talented artist. Uh, his first record deal had just got offered to him and he was so excited and I was gonna be helping him, man. You know, just making sure he didn't get screwed over and things like that and how things work. But uh, I remember that preacher saying something like, it was a sign from beyond to give more. And I'm like, how is that a sign? Yeah, I'm sure God's gonna reward me for making your bank account fatter. So, uh, really weird. What's wrong? And, and legit weird, okay? Why? As soon as I got around that, see how that tree sticks out right there? Yeah. As soon as I got around that, I start smelling something dead. It smells like a rotting corpse. The more you get down there to that walkway, there's like a, there's like a, a it's almost like a little road that's overgrown now. You can really smell like you're coming close to a dead body. And it smells like a real dead body. I tried to look and see, but I'm not trying to go back there because if it is another access point to somebody's home and I show up there, they could be pissed. They could right. fire one and off. And you know what's scary is there's an open well there. That means there I might said be another that open too. well over there and you don't know and you're going to yep. fall into it. Great minds thinking like I just said the same thing because I, I went down a little bit and I was like, God, I hope I don't step into another open well. Uh, there's one there. There could be another. But uh, that's scary. Imagine getting out of church and your kids are playing here, and your kid goes into the. Yeah, if I fell down in there, who's gonna hear there's me? There's nobody. there's heavy traffic going by. I mean, you could scream as loud as you could. It would take forever. Uh, there's a vehicle pulling slow in here. So you just smelled a dead uh, body. I, I smelled a dead body. I feel like he was being suspicious to you. Anything else? Hmm. Um, no, I, I well, I did find this little, uh, shoot straight for a yes, second. Sir. Uh, I did find this little coin bank on it that said something like pennies from heaven. And it was like a piano coin bank. Is that a sign from beyond? I, I'm not, I'm not sure, but. You know, my grandma said if you find pennies mm -hmm. on the ground, it was a sign from your loved one from heaven. Really? Yeah. That's what your grandma would say? Yep. But the, the penny would have to have like the heads up, I think she said, and then it was like a sign. Like she believed Interesting. in all that. There's so many things out there that our grandmas would know that we have no idea, you know, like, I'm glad we learned some of it, right? right. <laughs> um, all right, guys, we'll get up the street a little bit. We're lucky we beat the rain so far. We're gonna keep going till we find some really cool shit. I pray to God that nobody was laying dead back there in those woods. I think I am gonna go ahead and put an anonymous call in uh, for some officers to go back there and check it out, and then I'll come back online. Can we make it right here? All right, guys, we are heading to the next pen point right now. Somewhere where danger lives somewhere where danger lives yay uh we did put an anonymous call in just a second ago and Turn hopefully here. the officer right here yes officers are gonna go check it out oh another church there's a cemetery at the back here i'm gonna i'm gonna fall over seems like all we're we're landing at today and yesterday was cemeteries uh looks like the pinpoint straight ahead I don't see a cemetery though. There's an old basketball hoop. Right there? Right there. Oh shit, there sure is. Check that out. A place uh, where danger lives. I think there's a well right there too because there's piping. There. I'll, there's I'll definitely be careful. I'm leaving my phone in the door, Alicia. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Check out this basketball hoop real quick. Whoa! Said she's seen a well somewhere. If there was a well back here, that could be a place where danger lives. There's been a lot of places I've been, I think, that there probably was an open well and I just didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. Sometimes what they do is they just uh throw like a piece of plywood over the well. And that's it. That's the only thing they do to cover it. 
and as plywood gets wet and warps you know somebody steps on that thing hard enough not knowing it's there bam down they go all right keep on ending up by woods in some way shape or form though don't we a place where danger lives hopefully I'm not danger close to that <laughs> by the way this is coming in from Rex and I'm gonna be a 100 uh, this intention we're still doing intentions from a while ago uh, there's been a few I've skipped here and there to do ones that are really interesting but this guy's been waiting man he's been waiting uh, we'll probably never get to a fraction of the intentions you guys have suggested it's just the way it is I mean if we could do 20 to 30 intents per video probably uh, sometimes we just have to use ones that, that produce for us and, and or sound really cool and move on. It's unfortunate. There's something right there. Red cup. But uh, Rex, thank you for the intent. I'm sorry it's taken so long. He, he actually sent me a message on Facebook and said, look, you know, <laughs> I suggested this a long time ago. I'm still hanging in with you. I've never heard you use it. I haven't missed a video. And uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. A place where danger lives. It's really important to him that we find danger. <laughs> hmm. Might find some coyotes out here. This shit looks skeptical. This looks skeptical, like my left testicle. My mom always used to tell me to eat my vegetables. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. She's just happy that I'm still alive. Just turned 40 and never went to prison. I said, Mom, I got a fucking vision. She said, what is it? I said, that is I fucked my wife mission. Nary, it's scary. She's like, son, that's great, but I don't want to hear about you in the obituary. Maybe in the graveyard of the cemetery. <sighs> I rap when I get nervous. Whoa, hold on. Speaking of wells, there could be a well here. Is anybody in trouble out there? Hello? It'd be something if somebody answers me back. Help me, please. Help me. I don't know why I gotta make everybody sound like a slut. <laughs> Help me, please. I'm all by myself here. Oh my God, please help. <sighs> all right. Hmm, do I keep going? Does it keep growing? Do I keep showing? Hmm. You know, I wanna give a big shout out, man, to all these moderators in the live chat right now. You guys are just amazing. Uh, some of you have been with me for a while. There's been some that have come and gone. I want to give a big shout out to all the mods, though. Man, they 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 are are, are so lovely. I just feel like I should have brought my uh, should have brought my spirit talker with me. Place where danger lives. Maybe it's out here somewhere. Hello? Yeah. Hey, did you say something? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Why? Did you see something? I, I just heard something too. Of course, I, did. I heard you whistle right after, so maybe it was just you. Man, it just made me nervous. I'm glad she said that was her. If she would have said she didn't whistle, I would have said, oh my God, somebody's watching me and whistling at me. Now, that would be creepy. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Come look at this guy over here in the woods. Let's whistle at him. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird? Why did I sound like butthead right there? <laughs> yeah, Beavis. That'd be fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Look at the guy in the woods. Whoo.
Hmm. I don't want to mess with these people's stuff or what they got going on here. I just, I'm just looking, guys. A place where danger lives. It's a bunch of wood in the ground embedded. Embedded wood. There's some meth tanks over there. I'm just kidding. It's a church. They're not meth tanks. That'd be a good cover-up, though, for a meth lab. <laughs> hey, we're going to start a meth lab, Johnny, and, and we're going to use this church as the front. You know there's shit in these woods, bro. I got vibes galore. Hmm. What is that? The fuck? Somebody's been back here burning something. Burning all kinds of shit, huh? Look at that. A little creepy statue looking thing. It's a hose. It's a little cross thing. Why would they burn that if they were a church? I mean, it doesn't look like it's burned, but look, they were going to burn it. They threw it in here. Okay, now I got questions. Now I got questions. I got questions. What the fuck is going on? Why ain't nobody roll down my window? I want some Grey Poupon. The way I stick my bitch, she call me Pokemon. I'm serving that hoe up, I got that ishy bond. She like that sash. What the hell was that? Hello? Hello? I heard somebody say something. <gasps> oh my fucking stars. That motherfucker just scared me. Yeah, I see you. You're the only one in the field. Yeah, hi, hi. Hi. Yeah. You can stop waving now. I see you. Oh my god, that is what 10 pounds of stupid looks like. Okay. Alright, we're being watched. Hey, we, we, we know it happens. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. We'll try to ignore this shit. It's hard to do, isn't it? Easier said than done. I want to go back in those woods, but now I'm seeing this and I'm like... You don't have to get too close, Mask. I know you don't want that rematch. Can't you call me something else? Why do you gotta call me Freddy? Call me Jason. How about that? Jason. You know, Freddy and Jason. No Perry Mason. Hand me the gun. I need some shell casings. This. Hey, what, what am I doing? I'm doing the same shit I've always been doing, Mask. I've been, you've been following me for almost fucking two and a half years now, right? Daddy, what's that? What's what? That. This? It's a fucking camera. You know what it is. You're a clout happy demon. You're like a fucking alien with that shit. Oh, I look like an alien with this shit, huh? It's fucking demonic now. You look demonic. Fuck you. He said, you look demonic now. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were like a demonologist. Fuck Zach Bagans. I'm going to call you Zach Bagels. How about that? Yo, there's some shit back there somebody's covering up. I see a blue tarp back there. I'm not saying they're covering it up. Maybe I'm wrong, but there's a blue tarp. What do you, what do you want, Mask? I see that. Yeah, I see it. No, that. What, me? No, that. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. 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 You've been being a dumbass lately. I've been being a dumbass lately. Interesting. Interesting. I'm the one that's been being a dumbass, he says. 
Somebody's broke their fence back here. How does this one slat get, get broke is what I want to know. Sometimes I feel like he takes his medicine and sometimes I don't. Isn't it crazy? You get to know your stalker so much you know when he's on medicine and when he's not. It's fucking ridiculous. I'm Freddy, remember? I'm not John. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like John's over there. Hey, John. Daddy, shut up, you're right there. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't, I can't talk to John, I get it. A place where danger lives. Well, I know they're not talking about him, because you know I barely tapped him and he went down to the ground. Daddy, you know what? What, what mask? I'm a bad friend? Why is that? Because you're a bad friend. I'm a bad friend. All those times, all those times I bought you Happy Meals. That was John. You just said John was over there, but you're calling me Freddy. John bought them. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! You saw a Happy Meal. You saw a chicken nugget. You, you, you don't have no chicken nugget Happy Meal. What are you pointing at? I pointing at you! I draw a big circle around you, I shoot you motherfucker with arrow! What? Yeah! Me not like guy who tell you this guy with camera! What are you looking at? You trying to find your penis? It's probably not attached. Daddy. What? Why? Why am I answering to Freddy now? You son of a bitch, you got me answering to Freddy. He says Freddy and I'm like, what? Stop moving. Oh, you're gonna have to put some stalker work in. Stalkers have gotten so lethargic now. It's like, stop, I have to chase you. I'm tired. Go get me a happy meal. Why would I, you just told me I was a bad friend. That was Freddy. Motherfucker, you've been calling me fucking Freddy since you shut up today. What the hell's wrong with you? What are you looking for? You're gonna fall. He's he's looking up. He's like, <laughs> not getting you shit. It's not how you ask. <laughs> even if I was, even if I was remotely interested in getting you a happy meal, that's not how you ask somebody. You don't say, "Go get me a happy meal." Go get me a happy meal. You say, you say, would you please? I, I, I am I am super hungry. Would you please get me a happy meal? You don't say, get me one. Please, I'm really hungry. Get me a happy meal, please. See, that's better. Fuck no. Oh. You want some chicken wings? I'll give you some chicken wings. Yeah. Ew. Did you just say ew? You think happy meals are better than chicken wings? Oh, no shit, they're better. Man, the org has done a number on you, man. They've brainwashed you. My large drink. Large drink. Yeah. Oh, look at you moving up in the world. What happened to medium? You don't like medium no more? What's medium? <sighs> What's that? What's one plus one? One plus one. Really? One plus one. Yeah, really, what is it? Two. Oh my God, he does understand. See, Mask, I think you're playing me. I think you're playing me for a fool. I think I think you're trying to mess around and act like you're, 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 I, I think you're trying to dumb it down. Why? What? You think it's entertaining? It's not. It's not entertaining, Mask. You know, if you guys were like showing up with a billboard or a banner that said your Instagram, I could see what you guys get out of this because then the clout shit would make would make sense. What? Why'd you just flip out all of a sudden? You came from chilling sitting on a fucking stump to See what? 
There is no ice cream truck. Oh my God. It's my car, you idiot. Do you see the ice cream truck? No, it's a fucking Kia Soul. Trust me, I don't have no ice cream in the back. Hmm. There's shit back here in these woods, too. A place where danger lives. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and say he obviously hacked the app and, and he's ended up here. How uh, he eat it, and somebody with the brain did, but but still, I'm gonna go ahead and say they hacked the app and got me here, but there still could be something here. There still could be danger. What? Adam, what? What, why are you calling me Adam now? You got a lighter. A lighter? What, so you can smoke some more crack? God, you must be, bro, you must be doing some drugs. You're acting weird. I think it's beyond now not taking your medicine. I think you've, I think you've got an addiction that I'm not aware of. What's that? I don't know. Why don't you save your breath and go smoke some more meth? I'm over here trying to find my intention that has to do with death. I made a right when I should have made a left. This motherfucker's talking about an ice cream truck. He looks like an ice cream duck. I thought you said the ice cream truck was over here, Mask. <gasps> whoa, 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 did you just see that? Dude, Sam's over there. Sam, she just, she was in the woods, Sam. Get the fuck away from this motherfucker! Why are you running? Because I'm trying to get away from Mask. He's over there. Well, you need to turn around and go out the way we came in then. Look that, he ran to the woods. <laughs> I said Sam was in the woods, he started running that way. Why would you be in the woods? I don't know. Oh wow, he legit went in the woods. Wow, what an idiot. Okay. Sorry guys, that didn't work out so good. Film straight for a second. I put on my seatbelt. This beeping's gonna drive me crazy. Whoa! Oh my god. Alright. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh let's try and beat this weather. Weather? Weather? Let's try and beat this weather. Get us up another location. Let's change it. Go by the list. Let's go to the next one. Let's use something paranormal related. Guys, we're gonna get up another one. And come back online all right guys it's the next day uh i didn't want to keep going yesterday i felt like we would possibly keep running into mask and i do that sometimes sometimes i come back the next day or sometimes i post these weirdly like whatever uh i'm filming now i posted the beginning of a video instead of at the end so uh just know that too we make a right yeah Keep your phone turn, torn, torn, torn. Keep your phone torn, Alicia. Keep it turned towards me. We are humans, man. We do make mistakes. Um, good mood today. Nice weather out here. Hoping to God we don't run into Fuck Boy uh, no more. Um, Alicia's navigating is on point today, man. I think she got some coffee in her and she's just hitting different. So. Great. Um, wait, oh shit, really? Well, it's taking us into a little different of a spot. Um, it's taking us back here many times. Now, what I don't like about this is what I just said. I hope we don't run into him. And now, that truck makes me happy. That truck, why? Oh, because it says Hobby Lobby. <laughs> um, okay. Pinpoint looks like it's right here, this little patch of grass with these two bushes. So 500 feet that way, this way, that way. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> it seemed like a lot of people enjoyed 
um, the last video when we used the attention killer clowns. I got a lot of messages on my various platforms of social media. Uh, we do got extra batteries. You want to take this? Um, I think I'm okay. I got 40% on okay. this. If I'm getting low, I'll come back before I cut the footage, okay? Uh, keeping my phone right here. Don't mess with it. Just, uh, I say don't mess with it because I got Im important stuff on there right now. It's loaded up. I can't click off it. Hey, lock it down. So we're using the, the Killer Clown Intention once again. Um, yeah, you know, I... I definitely see the appeal in the killer clown stuff. I say what I say, you know, uh, what do we expect to find? It's not like, you know, we're going to run into to Pennywise or Terrifier out here, but uh, you never know. That would be some shit. That would make the all-time perfect video. <laughs> you come out rando nodding, a.k.a. geocaching, and you end up somewhere running into your intention. And, and it's just full blown like a movie set that would be insane doubt it will ever happen huh. uh, let's check this way first I don't think we've ever done that we've checked over there we're gonna do it again though we're gonna check this whole thing unless we just magically find something here tell you what any day I wake up and I know I'm going out random nodding I put on some comfortable shoes because you know you're going to get some cardio in. It's just uh, it's just the way it is. Sometimes I like breaking these videos up like this too, man. Uh, sometimes a different day, a different time, a different light, weather, uh, different experience. And one thing's for sure, Rando is not dead. A lot of people are starting to pick up the apps. I mean, we're constantly getting downloads from my app, Scaranoia. Look, there's a Twisted Tea Can right there. What the hell is a Twisted Tea Can doing way up under this tree like that? You're telling me that somebody was just sitting under this tree drinking a Twisted Tea. That rhymed. Sitting under a tree drinking a Twisted Tea. Looking like a stalker playing Monopoly. Now that would be really freaky. See somebody playing Monopoly up under a bush behind a building, drinking twisted tea. E. Garbage and yarbage. I remember back in the day I was blowing in my cartridges. Loose wires, always a scary thing chicken wing in a g-string hmm. yeah beautiful beautiful breeze out here today bro quite quite lovely Look at that cart just laying down. That's kind of sketchy. Killer clownage though. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But anyway, I was, yeah, we're, we're constantly getting, you know, downloads for Scaranoia app. People are picking it up all over the world. It always blows my mind when I see people in Belgium downloading the app. And it's happening a lot. It's happened ever since we, we released it. Um, oh, look at that. There's some wrapping paper completely unused, still in its packaging. I am not going to be picking that up. Hmm. But uh, people will write me from places like Belgium and the Netherlands and all over, and they'll just say, do you think the app will work here absolutely the app will will work anywhere now i don't know you know what we get the reason we get lucky here in the united states is because there unfortunately there is so much littering there is so much waste there is so much um chaoticness and sketchiness so if you live in a place where you have a lot of that too You'll probably get lucky as well because 
you know, some of the stuff we find is not just stuff you can just go and get anywhere. Like we don't, we we have no idea how people come up with this shit or why it's there. A lot of it has just been there forever. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but hey, you know, I, I once met a guy that collected turtle shells. That was his hobby. And he had so many of them that uh, it was kind of disgusting. What's going on here? It's a little shoe right there. It's no killer clown, but. Hmm. One single shoe. That's weird. Maybe he said, hey, I'll keep the other one. I ran into some random nodders yesterday. Um, not random nodding. They just, they seen me, they knew who I was, and they said, hey, we just came from random nodding. And I asked them if they had a good experience. They said that they didn't find anything all day, but the last place they went to, they found um, a doll with a knife in it. And I said, dude, I have found a lot of dolls with knives in them. I asked them if they thought other randonauticers uh, randonauticers <laughs> rando were doing it and they said that they don't believe so that they think that the org is behind it and they asked me like how real the org is and whoa I feel like I've been here before that's creepy I mean it's a place where you can go and game but there's nobody in there it's a ghost town and I told him the org is 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 very real why is it real I have no idea you know that'd be equivalent to me saying to a bunch of friends hey guys let's start an org it's not gonna be a nonprofit it's gonna be a nothing we're just gonna do it because we can we're gonna hack we're gonna track just because it's something to do that doesn't make sense not to me or, or to anyone and they agreed they said they don't understand it sandbags concrete but um, they told me it wasn't the first time that they found a doll and obviously they know I find them all the time we had a conversation for about 30 minutes about haunted dolls. Very nice couple. So I think they said they're gonna start doing YouTube that they hadn't created a channel yet. So I have no idea what they're gonna call themselves. But that's cool to see that, you know, after three years here, three years and some change, people are still using randonautica they're using scaranoia app having a good time finding shit <sighs> had to hold my breath that thing smelled like 50 dead bodies some balloons garbage If we found a piece of graffiti that looked like a creepy clown, I would take that. I would take that, yes I would. You never realize what's in these parking things, but it's rebar, man. Look at that. crazy that we're right by a dumpster and there's just random garbage like everywhere it's even crazier is is the fact of how many times the app has put us over here but we've never we've never hit exactly where that pinpoint is what is that like a firework or something there's broken glass that could be a tragedy right there. Oh, there's a door open. I don't want to scare nobody. 
Hmm. I won't we'll go that way. Fuck a mosquito taking free blood from me. I don't think so. You gonna have to pay for this motherfucker. You want some of this blood? You gonna have to pay me. That's right. That's my inner hookerness coming out right there, guys. I'm not a hooker, but if I was, that's my inner hookerness. Why does this feel so creepy? <gasps> okay, tell me that's not crazy. Creepy. We're looking for a killer clown and we find a big old stack of balloons back here. First off, let's be honest with ourselves. Most the pe somebody that's going to have balloons is most likely going to be a kid. Right? What is a kid doing with balloons back here? That is creepy. Creepy, creepy. Random piece of pipe. Hopefully that's not important. Jeez. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? Is that open? Oh my God. Bro, that is sketchy. What the fuck? Do you guys remember a video where, like, not that long ago even, um, Mask was in one of these things, and I walked up on him, and, and <laughs> I peed on him? <laughs> you guys remember that video? I don't know why I kind of want to go down there. I'm not going to. That's weird as shit. It's weird that something like this would be open and very dangerous. Very what if some little kid like came and hell I wanted to go in there and play. What if some little kid came and started playing around it? One thing I love about these videos, these adventures, um, Pokemon pack. Somebody was just back here opening Pokemon cards. Jeez Louise. One thing I love about these videos is the stuff that I discover that there's a fucking condom. Look at that shit. I'm talking about it. There it is. Ew. The stuff that I discover that I would never know exist had I not turned these apps on. You know, a lot of people, they watch this hoping we find that scary, scary. I do these adventures praying to God that I find that scary, scary. But I'll be honest with you guys. If I just found what I just found, I'd be a happy man. You're like, ooh, Jody, all you found was some garbage, some, some balloons, an open hole. Yeah, but it is interesting to go 500 feet from your vehicle and discover, you know, how dirty people are, how sketchy things are how weird things are just make connections that don't make sense those balloons over there that twisted tea can up under there somebody opening pokemon cards i mean the balloons are really creepy what would uh, what would those balloons be doing back there i don't know even this look at this there's tons of broken brick in this gutter lining this gutter why This is weird. Almost sounded like somebody was back there. And, and discovering things like that. Just people in weird places. The places where the homeless sleep. I tell you what, you gotta be careful sleeping in places like this if you're homeless. I do have a few homeless people that watch the channel too. Um, there's been a few times where I've cashed at them some money for like, and I actually know they're homeless too. Like they weren't taking me for a ride. Like when I was on a trip, I met one of them and he actually said that he, he's been watching the channel on and off. Like the one thing he has for entertainment in his life is his cell phone. And there's been a few occasions where he's been like, yo, I'm starving to death. I've been busking all day. 
and and I haven't hit nothing, man. Like, is there any way you can help me out? And dude, you send this guy 20 bucks and you feel like you just made his whole year. Like he's so thankful and appreciative. Doesn't do drugs, just got his bad luck, man. But the whole point is, is like, he's sleeping in place. Oh my God, see, perfect example. I'm talking about it, there it is. Over there. Um, let's see if we can access that. But there was a situation more recently, and you'll see it in a video I'm covering, uh, where this homeless woman was sleeping in these woods by the swamp. And a gator came out of the swamp and she was sleeping and she woke up to being half of her body half of her body in this gator's mouth and then he ate her and he killed her and, and, and the blood stain is still on the concrete again i'll be covering that video you'll see it soon but it's just mind-blowing to me like a homeless person is going to sleep where they can and even when they're sleeping where they found like somewhat of a haven. They still have to be on their guard. There's a little path through here. I'm guessing that's how the person got back here. I'm checking to make sure there's no gators first. Hmm. Shit, I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. I do this shit though, I love it. Yeah, somebody's been shacking. There's a tire, that means we're gonna find something and technically we, we just did. Not a killer clown, for the record, not a killer clown. Whoa. Somebody probably you know, they got the, it looks like they got, I'll get closer. They got like a tent here. Uh, or they got like a tarp of a tent, right? And they're garbage. I see the wire going around the tree. So they tried to make this like a little something to lay under and keep somewhat sheltered. What is that? Little vape pen. I left that out here. Stuff you learn, man. Stuff you learn. Look at that. There's the wire they were using to keep their tent up. See, just discovering stuff like this, guys, makes my life better. It really does. I know some of you might not get it. I know a lot of you do because you love watching me do it. They got some mosquito repellent trash something to feed their animal there's a flip-flop a towel just uh just crazy man and they'll never even know that i was here if, if they even come back a lot of the times they just abandon they abandon the ship walked into a spider web that's scary scary Ew. got scraped by the tree killer clown man Come on. I'm looking on the light pole. I just want to see like a, a creepy clown face or something. Something that can make sense. Ugh. I really don't want to go past 500 feet. Oh. All right, so probably about to those poles right there. Oh, we got 22% of battery left on this battery. I didn't want to bring them because if I would have had to cut the footage, I would have just made my way back to the vehicle because I don't like to cut it because sometimes the camera will just do it on its own and I can't help that. But uh, like there was a lot of situations where I would see people rando nodding a long time ago. 
and they would cut right before they would find something and that just kind of bothered me a little bit like you know it just seemed like it, maybe it could be not real and well I like finding it with you guys so you get to see the whole journey and it makes you feel like you're here I think that makes sense right guys the, the camera does do an automatic crop sometimes like if it gets too hot um, the sensor just I don't know just turns itself off I just always am thankful that usually I find something before that happens and then there's been times where it hasn't done it for 40 minutes so see I have been down here and I've been stuck down here before and I see why it's like the perfect place for somebody to come and get you and you're not even you not even realize it graffiti Whew. Kinda pretty, even though I don't think it's like a natural stream at all. I think it's probably just like waste coming from somewhere. But the sound of the water is, is what's nice. That loose hose down there. I don't know, one day, I mean, I could go ahead and do it. You know what I may do? I may come back with an extra battery uh, after I do this one in fact I kind of I've never went down that way like around that bend in that bank I mean technically that's within the vicinity of the pinpoint see the woods kind of block me from getting there that way but you can come through on this way and you can access some more of the 500 feet so I'm down to 19 now so I don't know if I want to do that right this second Cool little, cool little area. I just always have had bad experiences over here. Don't want that to happen today. By the way, if you guys haven't uh, purchased my latest movie, you need to. You need to get caught up because part two is dropping in October. Uh, there's going to be a trailer dropping in a few months here. And... There's something right there. There's something sticking out right there. Hold on, guys. I don't even remember what I was talking about. There's something sticking out right there. Get the fuck out of here. Dude, what the fuck? What? No way. No way. No way. No. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about killer, but it's a clown. The fact that it's a clown, bro, it's a fucking clown. X, X marks the spot. Dude, tell me this app is not incredible. All praise to Randonautica too. I could easily say that I was using my app. I would never do that. Credits due where it's due. Randonautica for the fucking win, baby. I know it's just a clown and I'm and I'm acting like I just won 50 million dollars, guys, but that's that's what happens when you put the work in. Is it a killer? No. It's a candle holder. Um but it's a clown. We found half the intention. Now, sometimes what I, I, I've noticed is when you find your intention, there's something else there that's the other half of it. Um, this is basically swampy-like area. Could be a gator. Could be 
a heroin needle over here. Something, you know what I'm saying? A killer clown. There could be something else right there. Scared me being right there just because I don't want something to come up out of that little swampish like nugget and get me. Why does that look like wet paint? Maybe it's just wet. Um. Hmm. Wow. I'm excited. I mean, it's something. It's something. If I wouldn't have found anything clown, then I would have been devastated. Now I kind of want to go plug, uh, get another battery, and maybe I'll pull the truck right back up here, right there. But, uh, how long have I been filming? Thir uh, no, 27 minutes. I was going to say 37 minutes. What the fuck? Took a long time to find you. I'll take it and show Alicia. But, uh. Took a while to find it, but I mean, look, if I would have just quit, then, and hey, there could be something else here too. Maybe the killer is somewhere here. And and I say that because this last Randonautica video I did, uh, the intention in one of the first ones I did was patriotic poison. And I found like this patriotic statue. And before I went to pick it up, there was a little spider jumping around. Was it poisonous? I don't really know, but... That goes to show you sometimes how these, how these finds work. Again, I did not expect to walk back there and find a man dressed like a clown holding a knife looking at me like he was ready to carve me up like Thanksgiving dinner. How fucking cool. You know, I'd rather find some of it than, than none. Does it make a symbol? Hmm. Sometimes I look at things in a in an abstract way and try and he's got a heart as a mouth. I'm even counting the dot the dots. Counting the dots on his scarf and thing, just trying to see if there's a significant number. But there's, I'm not making a connection. The head, what does that look like? Almost looks like the top of an ice cream or, I don't know, I don't see, I don't see it. That was quite the little workout to find you. I'm going to sign the, the bottom of this and send it to a random supporter. I've been doing that with like one thing per video. And uh, the only problem is, is the last person I reached out to and told them they're a winner, I haven't heard back from them. So, what? Where, where? yo, it took me 30 freaking minutes and I got 14% of battery left. How about that? But look what I found. Intention killer clown. And I found a clown. Is he juggling? Uh, candle holders. Oh. I think, yeah. What little kind candles. What candle would you put in that, though? Really little ones. I don't know where you'd find little ones like that. Me but. neither. But, not a killer. It's a clown. I found half of it. Now, I want to put another piece of battery in here. Another piece. Uh, another battery. I did find some unique stuff back here. I found, like, where a homeless person has been kind of shackalacking. Look at all that stuff. Yep, there's remnants over there. But on the other side of this little forest here, mm -hmm. uh, this patch of woods, there's another area that goes around a canal. I kind of want to put another battery in and go check that. Did you see a bug has put itself inside the wood? No, 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 what? <laughs> there's a little dead bug in there. Yeah. What if that was like a killer? What if that was like a tick or something? It's so minute, dude. Ugh. That might be it. It's just a piece of a bug. It's a little sliver of a bug right there. Interesting, Alicia. Good eyes. I looked at that thing up and down. Here, I'm going to drive over here and pick this up. Pick what? Um, I, I want to check the other side of these woods. You're going to have to get gas, too. I know, I know, I know. I was looking over there, from here. I was like, oh, that's a lot of stuff. I wonder if somebody's looking there. 
I just wonder, uh, here, let me, hold on. Let me, let me re-battery while I'm, I'm here. Guys, hold on. I'm gonna park you right there. No, I'll park you where you can see me. I know, I, I've already told them that. A lot of people that watch regularly will, will know that that's the truth. Um, I'm gonna park you here so you can kinda see down that pathway. Of course, I ain't gonna be there for long because I'm gonna walk down and walk over. Um, and then I, I won't spend much time. I just wanna take a, a, a little truck down there and see if I see anything. Um, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'll hurry. Truck's getting low on gas. I forgot to gas up this morning. We might not find anything over here, but dude, I hate situations to where things stop you from going forward. And those woods right there, that's kind of what they do. So we'll just take a little walk down there. We may or may not find something. If we could just find something that pertains to killer, I'll be a happy, happy camper. Dan. What if Dan is a killer? All right. This battery's got 100% on it, but the camera is hot, so I pray to God it doesn't shut off. Usually, as long as I'm not shooting in 4K, it doesn't get too hot. And I am not shooting in 4K. I'd like to give you guys that, but it takes forever for those videos to download sometimes. And I'm all about, I'm all about man volume. And the reason why is because I, I love doing these adventures. Um, there are times to where I'm two videos ahead, once in a while, like three, four videos ahead. And I still, still get up and go out random nodding just because I have fun doing it. Um, I was on a film shoot for my movie Mallet 2 in production now. As you guys know, I was away for a little while there. And uh, while it was gone for that week and didn't post, I was thinking about random nautica every day. <laughs> I know that sounds so crazy, but I really was. So, just happy to be back in the saddle. Just like clothes and stuff. If you said if we use the intention items of a missing person, I mean they're everywhere. These shoes are finally coming apart, and it's going to be a sad day. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, my favorite, favorite Jordans. The most comfortable Jordans I've ever wore in my life. I got tons of them, but uh, I've never found any that feel like these. And they're not easy to get, so here's what it is. Yeah, a little interesting structure here, huh? Some beads right there. What was somebody over here showing their titties to the to the fucking creek? It's a bag with a pig on it. Interesting. Whoa. I mean we could say that the killer is the littering, you know? There is garbage everywhere. Look, right here. What's that? Hydro hydrogen peroxide. Hmm. Come on. Where's the gator at? A gator would just be so easy to pinpoint this thing, and we could call we could call this one a day. Or a, or a big snake. Something that's scary, <laughs> that kills. Hmm. 
Kind of looks pretty over here. It's got like a greenish hue to it. <gasps> turtle! Turtle! Oh, look at that. Two turtles. Oh, Dudes. Teenage mutant. Come on. Come back up. That was cool. Shit. Hey, we caught it. I don't think the turtles are killers though. I think they're just trying to live, man. Until they meet Master Splinter. In one day, turtles find ooze. And when they do, Master Splinter teach them karate. I'm sorry, karate. Hmm. There's a lot of shit in here, bro. I see. Where did I see it? I seen a glove somewhere. Glove right here. There's all kinds of garbage and things in here. Yo, there's a skull. There's a fucking skull. Bro, I'm not even kidding, guys. There's a skull right there. Look at that. There's a fucking skull. Bro, you can't make this shit up. Dude, look. There is a skull. It's upside down. You can see the teeth sticking out of it. It's like a freaking... I don't know if it's like a cow head, a deer head. That is crazy. Gator... Uh, no, probably not a gator skull. Yo. We found bone. Finding bone, I don't care if it's an animal or what it is, it's there's something creepy about it. Damn. How gnarly is that? See, I'm glad we took this little walk over here. You, you never realize what you're going to get until you just do. Almost to the end of the line, too. I can't believe that skull was there, though. Still not seeing the killer for the clown, unless it was whatever killed that thing, or... Hmm, probably not a good idea to go back in there. There's shit over there on that side. I don't know how I got way back there, though. Unless somebody's been trucking across this. There's like a big old bucket. There's all kinds of garbage on that side. Unless once upon a time these woods weren't grown up like this. They got some green ass grass, don't they? Wow. Interesting. I think it was worth the walk. What do you guys think? Seen a couple ninja turtles. Mikey! Hey, Leo! <sighs> that skull right there, though, that, that's the icing. It's creepy. Hey, and what I find creepy, maybe you guys don't, but... Uh... Oh, that turtle came back up. Look at him. Huh? He's scared. He, he hears me and he goes back down. That's funny. That one over there wanted to come up too. If I brought Alicia back here to see that, she'd be like, Oh my God, can we keep them? They're so cute. They're adorbs. Oh, 
Can I have them, please? Daddy? Oh, Daddy, please. Oh, oh. That's her. That's her pouting. Uh, her pouting call. Oh, Daddy. I know. Please, Faja. It's a good idea not to bring her back here. I bring her back over here and next thing you know she's down there trying to catch a snapping turtle. Freaking calves are pretty solid today, man. This walking's just pumping the muscle like boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna have Bruce legs. Not Bruce Lee, I'm gonna have Bruce legs. <laughs> Bruce Lee legs. One more time, I'm gonna make it across this thing. I wanna get like, uh, I wanna get like 10 minutes up the street just to change the scenery in the area a little bit and uh, come back online with a. What the fuck was that? Hello? What was that? Hello? Something just moved through there pretty heavily. Interesting. Half the cool stuff we find um, is the stuff we don't find. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked up that sound, but it sounded bigger than a squirrel, I'll just say that. I'm gonna keep uh, filming. I was gonna say, hey, I'll just stop filming and come back online, but I don't wanna, uh, something to happen between here and the truck and not get it on camera. I like the truck, man. I've decided to keep this wrap on there. I was gonna change it out, but I love this wrap, bro. I think I'm gonna keep this one like it, this. Okay. Well, Good. I found two cool things. Yes. I found a skull in the swamp, uh, like creek over there, like legit. A real skull? Yeah, I think right. it was either a cow skull, deer skull, bull skull, and it was upside down. And two turtles came up. You just missed them. I, I told them, I was like, God, if I brought her over here to see these turtles, she'd be like, oh my God, can we have them? I mean, there's no farm life right here. I know. I was like, damn, was somebody feeding a gator out there or some shit? Maybe that's the or killer. they're doing like, you know how people sacrifice goats? Right. Or maybe it was a goat skull. Honestly, it could have been a goat like skull. A thing. It's true, they do. It was pretty decimated. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, like I said, we'll get up the street a little bit and uh, come back online here. All right, guys, I was using a paranormal intention and it sent us over here to this place. We had to go down and turn around and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to this, to be honest with you. It said to turn right here and you can't turn right, but we looked down here and we seen there is a house. Uh, looks really grown up though. Whoa. Holy shit. Hello? So, 
This is in the middle of nowhere right here. Look at this. Hello? Whoa. That looks creepy, bro. You know, there's a good chance somebody might actually live here. I don't know. Hello? Oh my God, look at this. Hello? Hello? Shit, these things are sticking the fuck out of me, bro. Hello? Get a leash on the phone, guys. Hello. Hey, stay on here. Be quiet. Hello? 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 Hello there. Is anybody here? What the fuck was that? Someone just walked up there. Okay, so we're using a paranormal intention and it said to turn right up there and you can't. It showed there was a road. We look down here, we see this. Go down, we U-turn, we come back, we're like, oh shit, we got to U-turn again to get on that side of the road. Um, This is kind of scary because I don't have a flashlight. Whoa. What the fuck? Bro, did you just see that? Maybe it was the wind, but... There is no wind. Hello? How you can see through the floor right there. I know, I know. Hold on. I don't think it will let me use my flashlight too, right? I don't have one in the car. Shit, it won't let me use my flashlight with you on here. I'll call you right back. If you it, keep your window down, so listen out for me. Why is the flashlight not going all the way? Hold on guys.
Hello? Be something crawling in here. Oh my god. Oh, door shut. really want to touch anything guys are there any spirits here there's a vibe in this place and not just because it's creepy dude there's a legit fucking vibe What was that? Hello? Is there something in here with me right now? Is there someone here? Those are shotgun shells, bro. Fucking shotgun shells. I got like a really bad feeling right now, guys. Like I'm not capping to make this more intense or anything. Like it really does. It feels weird. Kid. Hello? TV at the end of this hallway. Oh my, my name is Mary. My name is Mary. Dude, that shit. Oh man, there's shit everywhere. Feels like there's a body under here. What is that? We can use this. Old Santa right there. We can use this. You can use this device to communicate with me, yes. Oh, 
No telling how long this place has been empty, guys. Look at that. Oh my god, pretty big place. Look at all those books there. They're like law books. The hell? Metric mathematics. Like a teacher or something lives here. Well, there's a suit. It's oh. not just me. I can I can tell there's something here. Holy shit. The energy in here is crazy, bro. Like it feels like there's something here. Something about this room right here. It's not just me. We can use this. My name is Mary Kid. Dude, this place, it's so grown up. I didn't think anybody was going to be in here because... I just don't see where, you know, how they could survive, like, ducking and dodging just to get in their place. Like, very hazardous. But now, after seeing it, there hasn't been nobody here for, for quite a while. Photograph. Photograph. Hmm. Let's see if I can see one. Is this a bandana? There's a woman's shoe right there. Lots of documents. I see some Vaseline up there. <laughs> uh oh, I just heard something. There's a camera, old camera. <gasps> photograph! Oliver. Whoa! Is I just seen the photograph, bro? It just said Oliver. Some old tape right there too. This video is interesting today, huh guys? <laughs> is that guy's name Oliver? Where is he now? This is helping me. Well, that's good. I, uh, I always kind of hope that this, like, helps in some way, shape, or form. Oh, my God. Wow, you can see right into the ground. Dude, it sounds like somebody's walking in here. Bro, this is this is freaky. There's a deep freezer right there. I don't even want to know. Bunch of pencils. A 
somebody come in here and just vandalize it or like I don't get why people do that bro there's an old creepy statue sitting on top of that freezer part of me wants to get to that freezer and open it the other half of me does not fuck horse horse Here, let me get Alicia back on here real quick. I'm going to try and work myself to the freezer, I think. Hey, can you see me? Listen, there's a big deep freezer right here. I'm about to work my way to it. And I'm scared. Dude, look at this. Huh? I feel like that's like a killer shack or something. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna get to this freezer. Did you just say something? Hold on. Alicia, hold on. Watch. Oh god, Jody. There's no dead bodies. There's no dead bodies. Thank God. Hey, come on and let's go. I hear you. I'm coming. Hold on. I can't see. Oh my God. I can't see. Shit. Oh. It's creepy as fuck, guys. A lot of cars are coming by. All right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my God. Bro, that was gnarly. Um, you never know what you're gonna walk into when you go into places like that because, you know, um, just cause they look abandoned doesn't mean they are. But also, I'm just going to a place that the app is, is sending me to. I have no idea, I haven't vetted this place. Hold. These things right here, dude, they'll poke your fucking eye out. There's one just stabbed the shit out of me. Ow, 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 ow. 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 Dude, that was fucking crazy, bro. Crazy. Oh my God. Gotcha. All right. Wow, what an experience, huh? I made it out alive, but yeah, you just don't ever know if somebody's like living in there rent-free, you know? It's rough, but homeless people sleep outside in tents and shit. It might be better than a tent, huh? All right, guys, listen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that thumbs up, leave a like, comment below, share this on social media. I post every other day, live chat, live premiere, always right here on the Hunting the Dead channel. I love you all, I'll see you in a few days, but until then, sweet nightmares. a fuck boy, but I ain't no fuck boy, yeah she just my fuck toy, bitch I never fuck boy, straighter than the arrow is, call this experiment
Maryland I just passed your bitch around like that hoe was Maryland All she do is talk me off, call that bitch lock jaws When she hit me rap, man you know it's about to pop off Fuck that shit which poppin' off, damn it makes my dick so soft Fuck this bitch man, hope get lost, you can't get your sorry toss Fucking fight too much, I just wanna light you up Drown you in some gasoline and ask you are you hot enough Fuck you while your hands in cuffs, stab you with a broken cup Suck me while you looking up and tell you that we breaking up I know it's hard when things go south But it's so much harder with this dick in your mouth Shake that ass like sober girl, take my friends come over girl I might kill both of you but at least we're all the like squirrels I just killed my girlfriend, damn she talked to